and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create chemical symbols. Let's use the type tool, press T for that, or click on the A symbol, I'll type in MG for magnesium and I'll size that up holding control. So now we want to add A2+, plus. so for the charge of it, let's just say we've got two protons more than electrons. But we don't want to have it set like this, so typing it in regular doesn't work. And by the way, if you want to create plus signs, don't just click on a plus and minus, you zoom in and out with that. You have to hold Alt and click on plus to have it written as type. So let us select it and then use the superscript function in the top and you can see this is what we wanted to have. So the 2 plus, the charging is now the superscript of the MG. The same method can be used for subscript. So when we have H2O, just type it in regularly. And we size that up holding control. I press T for the type tool. I select the two and I go to the toggle for subscript. And there we've got the chemical symbol for H2O. A problem arises when you want to add the mass number and the atomic number. Let me do that for magnesium. So if we want to use the same method, we use the type tool and we type in on the left hand side the 12 for the atomic number. We can select that and put it to the bottom. But if we want to add the mass number, so 24, and we would want to put that on top. You can see we've still got the problem that we can't layer them on top of each other. So this simple method can't be used to achieve the effect that we want. If you really want to create that with the atomic and the mass number, you just have to type it in in a different type element and then reposition that once you've got this size and the position that you want. Just right click and duplicate drag it on top and use the type tool again and change the value. You can obviously add this effect multiple times within a chemical symbol or within a type element. So if we want to, for example, create glucose, which is C6, H12 and O6. We'll just select the numbers one by one and use the subscript function. You can still size it up. Always hold control when you do. That keeps the proportions and doesn't stretch the font. And this is how you can create these basic chemical symbols in Inkscape. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.